chamfering the corners of a sheet metal component. So if we want to put a chamfer or a chamfer, tomato or tomato, we want to use the corner chamfer. So we're going to go up and use the corner chamfer in our sheet metal um, tab. And the first one we're going to do is called the, the one distance. So I'm just going to set a distance or whatever size I want. I'll put 15 millimeters and I'm going to pick a corner. So I come over here and pick this corner. It will put a chamfer in there. Maybe if I want to change it, say, oh, that's a little too big. I'll go with 10 and I'll say, OK. And I just put a chamfer in there. Next, we'll do a distance and angle chamfer. So I'm going to go up to my corner chamfer. I'm going to choose over here on my distance and angle. So in here, I put a distance and my angle. I can put any distance or any angle I want. I'll come in here and I'll put, say, 60 degrees in here. And I'll put, I'll put uh, 10 is good. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and pick on an on an edge. So I pick on this edge and then I want to pick on the corner. So then I pick on this corner. It builds the edge. Um, it measures off the edge and then measures the angle. And then I say OK. And there I just done a distance and an angle. The third method is called two distances. So if I go up to corner chamfer, I come down here and choose two distances. I can come over here and set the distance. I'll set one to be in, say, uh, uh, oh, let's go with 10 and 15. So I'll pick on the corner here. I'll pick on this corner here near us. And um, maybe I'll exaggerate these a little more. Maybe I'll go with 10 and 20. And maybe I'll, and I'll go even down to 5. And I'll hit OK. And you can see how it cut off five millimeters from the one corner and it cut off 20 from the other. So we have three different methods of doing a corner chamfer. Uh, we have the one distance, which is effectively going to make a 45 degree angle. We have a distance and an angle where we set the distance where we're going to measure back off that corner and give it an angle. And then our last one is we measure from the old corner that we're cutting off uh, in both distances. And so uh, in this case, we can go around and choose the chamfer uh, any corner that we want uh, using the corner chamfer tool.